Look at that little fucking kitten. It's so goddamn cute. Oh, look. There it is. The kitten's game. Look at that little adorable ass kitten with a hoe. Kittens and hoes. That's what we're all about. This, this is a pretty fun game. This is a tap game. This is about as tap as you're going to get. Um, maybe, maybe it's not a tap game. It's like an incremental growth tap game. Um, imagine it like Sim City and Fallout Shelter and stuff like that, but there's no graphics. I guess babe, I guess maybe that, that millionaire game would be a little bit better. It's a clicker game, but it's better. So we're going to refine catnip. Oh, no, can't refine catnip. I'm so dumb. We're going to gather catnip. <laughs> Got to click it a million times. We have a catnip field. Now look at that. To your left here, you shall see that the cats are producing... Well, the catnip fields are producing catnip. Oh, and look. Down here at the bottom. Ha. Kitten in a catnip forest. Alright, let's change something real quick. Yeah, there we go. Makes things a lot easier to see. It's not so crazy on my eyes. It's like 5, 6 in the morning. I woke up at 4 because I fell asleep with a real bad headache real early in the day. So, of course, my whole schedule is fucked up. Might as well sit here and fucking show you interesting games, I guess. This one's fun. This is not a free game, but it is only a dollar. And for a dollar, you could do a lot with this game. <coughs> I haven't even gotten to, like, some of the more fun stuff. Just making catnip fields. Making catnip fields. Oh, look, I can refine it. No, I still can't refine it. I guess I have to wait. Now I have enough, I think. Are you going to let me refine? You need a hundred catnip to refine into wood. Bam! Look at that. Bam! Look at that. Now I can almost make a hut. You need five pieces of wood for that. For now, I'm just going to make catnip fields. I've got enough for a hut, it looks like. Bam! Got a hut. It is now officially what you would call an outpost. There are currently no kittens. This is really terrible to play on the phone, actually. I would highly suggest this on a tablet. Um, because, like, it's just not, it's not implemented very well on a small screen like this. Oh, look, kittens. Bam, now I've got a cat who's cutting wood for me. Yeah, it looks okay like this. Kind of? Yeah, I still like it. Right, right up instead of just sideways. Or stretched, as you could call that. Bam. More woodcutters. I'm just going to keep making, like, ass tons of fields. Because the real goal of this game is growing tons of pot. I'm kidding. I'm not. Because, like, honestly, this could totally be equated to, like, growing pot. More so in the aspect that all you are is a kitten in a catnip forest. The catnip can be turned into wood and many other types of resources. And it's like, well, in real life, catnip doesn't really do shit. Well, interestingly enough, marijuana, you can turn into lots of things. Food, clothing, hemp, uh... Hemp is like the base to turn it into all the other stuff, really. Regardless, pretty sure. Then again, somebody's gonna look at this, look at the stuff, and comment, and be like, "You fucking pothead! Not everything's about pot, you fucking stoner." And I'm gonna be like, "Look, guy, or girl, or neither," because you know, people can lay claim to no gender. And be like, "Look, you fuck off, because I smoke pot." I don't know. It's five in the morning. What am I doing with my life? Um...
I'm getting cats. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting messages on my phone. Who the fuck wants to talk to me at five in the morning? Fucking meet me. Have you ever been on meet me? Meet me is a cesspool. I guess could be a a, a, a proper term for it. Meet me is lame. I used to go in there to meet friends, and at some point somebody was like, hey, you want to find a girl? Get on there, man. And then I realized it's not to find a girl, it's to get, like, random hookups. And even then, that wasn't really a thing on there. So I just decided to start being friends with people and finding crazy status posts that people would make. Just, like, crazy stuff. Like yesterday, the one was, this chick's like, I can still feel his cum in my ass. Who's next? Like, what? What? Are you serious? Like, you're really just gonna, like, blatantly show that to the world? And, like, I thought it was a joke until I was looking at all our posts, and all our posts were like, oh, looking for a guy. Oh, who wants to come up and have this next? Like, post after post after post. It was just like, damn. When you can't tell if it's a troll or not. Ooh, library. This is gonna get me. Bam! Science. That's what libraries get you. Build a library to store sacred cat kind knowledge. Each upgrade improves... Each upgrade level improves your science output by 10%. You get a bonus, you get max science, and you get culture. Culture is important for your cats. You got, you, your cats got to be cultured, you know? <clears throat> a cow litter is the most obvious, important-ass fucking thing. However, science doesn't really occur until you get scientists. Do I have any scientists? Oh, scholar. Whatever. Okay, fuck the wood. What can I have at least one scholar? Look at that. I'm about to say fuck the wood, actually. For now. It's get, getting the calendar is really important. Because then you know when the seasons are actually about to change. Because, like, right now, up here at the corner above my free kittens, it says I'm in autumn. Okay, I'm in autumn. That's cool. However, I don't know when I'm going to move from autumn to winter. And once winter kicks in, you'll see in my catnip section right here that it's going to drop. It's going to drop very considerably. And I need to be able to time everything correctly. Because early on, it's going to be a little bit hard of arranging your cats quite where you want them to be. Uh, bam. Okay, check it out. Now I'm on autumn day 28, year zero. There are 100 days per season. So that means in about 70 days or so, my catnip production is going to fucking drop. Anywhere from 15 to 90%. I know, like, more consistently, it's like 75% and 90% because winter sucks. Um, if I can get my cat, I'm probably going to try and get my kittens to die. I know, that sounds horrible, but there's an achievement called Winter is Coming um, to have 10 kittens die during the winter. And it sucks, yes, but it's an achievement. Why not, you know? Why not? This is a cool little bit of the game. You can reset the timeline. Uh, you'll keep all your statistics and achievements, but you may receive various in-game bonuses. Um, karma points and Paragon points. Uh, I don't remember which one is which, but one of them, Paragon points are for sacrificing unicorns and stuff like that, and that's something you'll get into if you decide to play the game more. Um, karma points are for like every 20-some cats that you have, you'll get a Karma point. And what happens is that karma points permanently affect the stats in your game. Like over here to the left, you get your 1.13 per second per catnip. You get your 0.77 uh, per second for science. That will all go up. Oh, look. Down at the bottom. Astronomical events gave me a huge boost in science. Cool fucking shit. Ooh, agriculture. Bam, look at that. Now I can get other stuff. Anyway, sorry. Lots of distractions. Um... This game is made so that after you play it for a while, you reset it. And you'll get these karma points and paragon points. And then, so that when you reset it, your second time around is going to be easier. And so forth. Do it over and over and over again until you have, like, crazy amounts. This is a replayable type of game. That's what they want you to do with it. What he wants you to do with it. This is some Russian dude made the game. It's pretty cool. Oh, look. See? I've been paying attention and we're already into winter. Look at that. Dropped. 
<laughs> fucking dropped. Um, and then it jumped up. It was confusing. Oh, it's because my kittens are starving to death. Check it out. It's pretty fucking brutal because your cat's like literally starved to death. It's like, oh my god, no, please. The first time it happened, I panicked so bad. I was like, no, my kittens are dying. But I've replayed this a number of times on different systems. The cool thing is that on the computer, this is free. It's entirely free on the computer. So if you go into your browser and you look it up, that's the only problem with it, though, is it's a browser-based game. So if you want to play it, you got to keep it open, which I think is why dude turned this into an app or whatever. Um, and for... For the app, it's only a fucking dollar. And honestly, this is a fun enough game that a dollar's worth it. If if you like an idle game like this, you know. How many kids died? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, almost there. Almost have enough dead kittens. <laughs> it's it's so messed up. Oh god. It's really dark. Oh. I was gonna put a cat into the yeah, there you go. Fucking starve, scholar. I want that achievement. I don't even need it. I'm playing this on my tablet right now, where I'm actually... I've really progressed like crazy on there, so it's like, uh, I don't really need to get the achievement on here. But to show you guys, for the purposes, I shall kill all my cats. Because I love you guys. <laughs> the people who are watching, which is zero, I have... 15 subscribers and none of them give a shit uh because my videos are fucking shit and they have zero editing power that's okay though i mean whatever i don't give a fuck i am here because i'm bored and i don't have anything else to do and i'm like you know what if i'm gonna play these games i might as well record them so that other people can get maybe some type of entertainment out of it you know i like trying to entertain people and i like killing my kittens Oh, it's so close. Yes! Achievement unlocked. Check it out. So there are quite a few achievements, actually, that you can get. And they're all, like, secret. They're all secret. Have ten kittens dead. It's so goddamn brutal. Alright. Fuck this scholar. We need a farmer right now. Ah, okay. Now my kittens will live. Solely for achievement purposes. Um, something to do is to get as many fucking catnip fields as you can. Like, a lot. Because you're going to use catnip a lot until you get to woodcutting. Yeah, then your wood cutting is going to be much more important. But for now, early game, lots of catnip fields, lots of them, because you don't even need your, you don't even need your cats for that really. I wouldn't even need it right now. So I'm gonna do this. It's just that once winter comes, suddenly things get a lot more complicated because it's winter. <laughs> Archery is cool. Archery will get you, um, will allow your cats to go hunting. Then your cats can come back with furs and ivories, which basically just boost every other stat by a little bit. And they have a chance to find unicorns. And unicorns are a whole another subsection of the game that's really fun. Um, you can, like, sacrifice them to do crazy shit. You can use them to increase the amount of stats that you're getting. Uh, there's lots of things to do with unicorns. They're kind of a mid end game style thing, but. End game for this could be like three months from now. Like this game seriously is like a major idle game. Like this idle game can go on for months. And it's great because there's no microtransactions. Like none. I love that. That's awesome. Um, there are no ads. None at all. Which is awesome. People. A huge complaint about people for especially phone games is ads. And microtransactions. This has none of that, you guys. None of it. And you can look away from the game forever. 
you can come back to it. I'll forget about my, about my tablet for like two or three days and then come back to it and be like, oh yeah, I'm playing the kittens game. Bip, 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 do all these little things and then sit there for a little bit watching it. After a while, it will get to the point where you're like, you just like don't know what to do because there won't be anything to do and it's really just a matter of waiting because there are things that will take days after a while. Usually most stuff takes, hmm, for me, like, something I want to do right now takes about six or seven hours, give or take. It's weird. It's, it's, it's an incremental growth game. That's how they are, really. I guess I don't need to bother with anything else right now. Just, you know, keep fucking getting this stuff. But, you know, like I said, it's a... For the most part, a symbol game. It takes a little bit to learn. I uh, I had to restart the game about three or four times before I really understood what I was doing. Um, but I like it. Which is funny because like I'm not normally a sit around and wait kind of guy. I don't know. Sometimes this stuff can get really boring. Depending on the game, it can be fun. Like this one. This has got progression. That's the biggest key for me personally, is that I can't not have games that don't progress. Like fucking League of Legends, or basically any MOBA. MOBAs are awful, because it's like, oh, here's anywhere from one to seven different arenas, and a million different characters. However, the progression only sits within that battle itself. Because once that battle is over... You're just back down to the basic character again. Once you restart to the next tournament. And that kind of stuff gets really boring to me after a while. Because, sure, you get progression, but it's only in-game. In, you know, in-field game. Not, like, this. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe. I also don't have a big enough vocabulary to describe all the things that I feel and try to explain. So, there's that. But, regardless... Games need to be progressive for me to enjoy them. Permanently progressive. And this has a lot of that. I've I've been playing this game for a couple of years now, and I've had to restart a lot from losing my computer and getting new phones, blah, 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 bullshit like that. And uh, every time I've learned more about the game and gotten better at it. So, it's a, it's a fun game. I like it. I wonder how long I feel like doing this video. I'm getting pretty hungry, so I may end up pausing this for a little while to let the game just progress along for a little bit. Have you ever had pierogies? Pierogies are good. They're like dough that's been wrapped around a bunch of stuff and then crimped and then... Mm, I don't know, depending on where you're watching this, in America, they're frozen, tossed into a box. Well, tossed into a box and then frozen. Um, really good. The ones that are commonly bought have potato and other types of products in them. Usually potato and cheese is the most general thing. Though I learned in my uh, little bits of uh, family history with my grandfather, because my family is Polish and pierogies are a Polish thing, um... Pierogies used to actually have fruit in them. They were a dessert item. And then somewhere along the line, somebody was like, holy fuck, bro, potatoes, bro. And potatoes are like the glory of the earth. So started putting a mashed potato type thing in it. And that's pretty much what we have with pierogies now. And uh, they're really good. I commonly boil them. You can fry them. You can deep fry them. You can just sear them in a pan. There's lots of things you can do with pierogies. They're good. They're very good, and I highly suggest trying them out sometime. Going down to your local Walmart or grocery store. Actually, no, don't go to Walmart. That place is evil. Go somewhere where they sell food. Get some pierogies, yo. Try them out. Always worth it to try new food. I'm actually thinking about doing some videos on my channel of food. You know, different stuff to make, different cool stuff to eat, stuff that you'd find in your area, you know? I ain't always just about video games. I like all kinds of stuff. I also like making wood. Yeah, wood. This stuff's pretty cool. Animal husbandry. Basically, it's you make animals fuck. So that you can get more animals so that your catnip, and mine is considerably low, actually. Holy shit. 
My catnip is really low. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Fuck the science. Oh god. Oh god. Fuck the wood. Oh god. Ah, just barely cleared it. But regardless, anyways... It reduces your, improves your food reduction to reduce your catnip production. Really useful. Really, really useful. And see, look at that. It would take me 34 minutes and 46 seconds based on the fact that I have currently one scholar in there right now. Good stuff, you know? It's, uh, it's, it's all about balancing what you have. That is like a key part of the game. Wait, don't they call that resource management? So I don't have, like, the greatest amount of time to show you this game. I'm probably only going to even have up to 10 minutes left on this video. I try to keep my videos 20 minutes to a half an hour. You know, no, nobody wants to watch some fucking idiot play games for a goddamn hour, you know? I mean, some people do, but... Huh. Not Nobody wants to watch me. You trust me. I'm not good at video games. <laughs> I am very bad at them. But, uh, you know, you get to see a basic synopsis of the game. I mean, this is pretty much how it works. After this, it's all figuring it out, you know? And that's how a lot of good games are. Figure it the fuck out yourself, bitch.